Hey everyone, it's Graphic back with another video, and today I'm going to tell you guys how to get from 500 gear score all the way up to 600 gear score in less than a week. It's actually possible, and I've seen many people do it. I want to tell you how you can actually do this, and very, very effectively do this. So, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go to the recruitment channel on your server. You're going to be able to see people talking about X imp train or X train, X WT, depending on if they call it a world tour or a train, it's going to be perfectly fine. You're just going to want to type in X and whatever everyone else is typing in so that you get an invite to that train. And that's going to basically walk you through all of the level 60 areas that can boost your gear score quite a bit by the time they run through every single area. They typically run through uh, they run through the Epin Scale Reach area, Imperial Palace. They come up here, they do Scorched Mines, they do uh, Merc Guard. They also come over here and they do a couple different ways. They go Eternal Pools and then sometimes they even go down here and do the Sirens. Uh, I had to think about that one for a second. For some reason I kind of lost my train of thought but those are going to be some of the main areas they go to. Sometimes they can mix it up and go more places or less places. And you also have malevolence in that rotation as well. So those are going to be most of the elite areas that they go to. And it's definitely a great way to bump your expertise by opening those chests, by getting sometimes loot from the actual boss kills themselves. But mostly the chests are going to be what bump your expertise up past that 600, or sorry, not past that 600, but past that 500 gear score so that it slowly overall goes up. So the one tip and trick as well for the gypsum orbs that are going to be guarantee boosts to your gear score that is right here. So Emerald Gypsum is one of them. This one's from doing a level of trade skill aptitude. So I did some stone cutting. I made eight rune stones and I went from 200 zero to 200 and then one aptitude level. So you just need one aptitude level after that 200 trade skill or sorry, crafting skill is at what it is. You just get one aptitude level and you'll get an emerald. But I want to talk a little bit about the gypsum itself and what you guys should be spending on before 600. So you'll see here I get my emerald gypsum. Uh, it turns into a gypsum orb. And then I have the option of picking any of these options for the gypsum cast. So the first thing you should always do, in my opinion, you should always go for the earring, the ring and the amulet because these are very, very slow gear score increases compared to gear. You'll get these to 600 very, very quickly in comparison to your weapons and your jewelry. So definitely get your jewelry and your weapons first. If you only have, you know, five gypsum orbs that day, that's perfectly fine. Use them in weapons and jewelry because those are going to be the slow processes of getting those up instead of your gear because gear is going to be a common drop in chess. So you're going to get a lot of bumps during the world tours or the trains that people are running on your server. So that's just kind of a little tip and trick, but I want to talk about every single way you can get expertise and really the gypsum orbs are the best way, right? So you can automatically get gypsum orbs every single day by doing a couple things. First, we had the aptitude level. Second, we have outpost rush. Third, we have 3v3 arenas. And then we have the sapphire coming from the defeat final boss of Laz, Genesis, Tempest, or Barnacles. Then we have obsidian uh, gypsum. This one's coming from defeating level 60 plus open world named bosses. If you're really lucky, you're going to get this in your world tour or to the train if you can get kill credit. So definitely try to get a part of the group. We have Topaz as well. Defeat level 55 plus creatures while using Topaz gypsum attunement. And you guys can craft these. Uh, I'll show you actually right here. You can craft them with the soul worm tongue. So go to your any tier 5 tent and then have... Uh, 10 soul worm tongues on you and you'll be able to craft this potion that like I said You'll have to defeat level 55 plus creatures while using the topaz gypsum attunement and sometimes you'll get the drop Sometimes you won't but you can have a daily limit of two so you can get two gypsum a day from that But you can only craft one potion a day of the uh, The topaz gypsum attunement so make sure to craft those every single day That's going to be a daily that you're going to want to add to your rotation if you are trying to get from 500 to 600 very very quickly so another thing we have is complete uh, an arena. So completing an arena is definitely something a lot of people miss out on every single day because it is a little bit tricky to get a group for this. So uh, you'll still need to come down to, there's a couple different places. You can go to Sirens or you can go to the Spriggan or any of those different arenas. They're PvE arenas that a lot of people don't really mess with because the rewards aren't too great and they're kind of more of a joke content. But it's a very fast gypsum orb, so definitely do them if you want to. Uh, we have complete corrupted portals as well. So you need seven for one gypsum. This one, a lot of people don't do as well, but uh, it's very, very quick. Definitely if you're doing a Merc Guard run and all the portals are up, 
Uh, right now they're not obviously but you just do seven portals and you'll get uh, seven pieces of an orb basically and then at that point you'll get one gypsum orb we also have the diamond so find these from farming any node getting a hidden stash i typically go over to these young trees and just start hacking away you'll pretty much always get a hidden stash within the first two or three trees so let's go over here to where it's a little bit more common where you'll find many more trees and you know, mature trees aren't going to really make it any better. Uh, typically, I just go for the young trees, but we do have ourselves a mature tree right here. So let's see if that gives me one so I can show you. It does. So you can get three of these a day. You can see it gives you a bunch of different moats, right? But the biggest thing is it gives you a lot of coins and diamond gypsum as well. And the diamond gypsum is going to be huge. You're going to need three of them to create one gypsum orb. And these are all going to boost your expertise, like I said every single time it's an automatic upgrade which is just massive and that's one of the best systems they've come out with just so people don't have crazy terrible rng like the start of the game when i was grinding from i think it was like 550 to 580 and it was just so unlucky i wasn't getting any good drops i wasn't able to bump my expertise up but you can see 80 gold per time and then this one 185 gold from this hidden stash so you want to do it even if you don't need gypsum orbs for anything or you don't even want gypsum orbs just because that gold is so fast and so good uh, but there is other methods of bumping your expertise, and that is purchasing using faction tokens. So I'm going to go to the faction vendor here and kind of show you. But on the way, there's also going to be another way to get gypsum orbs, and that's through the Barnacles, uh, Barnacles dungeon down here. Let me see if I can get to it. There's a repeatable quest at Barnacles and Black Powder. That'll get you gypsum orbs. And then there's also a repeatable quest here at the Tempest Heart that will get you gypsum orbs every single time as well so those are repeatable quests i believe you can do them only two times each but still that's a lot of extra extra gypsum if you want to go for them so the faction tokens guy let's check this out so i just recently switched so i don't have the reputation right now to upgrade to the highest tier and buy them myself which is unfortunate but you can see you just go to the bottom tier of your faction rep and you'll have gypsum orbs here at the bottom so you can see the price of them being pretty low actually Definitely because you're going to be able to do, what, three daily missions every single day. And by the way, if you're looking for PvP missions, Shattered Mountain's probably my favorite. If you're looking for PvE missions, Brightwood is probably my favorite there. But you just select, you know, these PvP missions. You can see that you're going to get about 250 gold based on just these two. So let's just add another, you know, 120, 130. You're going to get about 380 gold based on just your three faction missions of the day if they're pvp missions in shattered mountain you're also going to get a ton of tokens where you'll be able to have extra tokens even after buying those two gypsum orbs every single day so there's a lot of ways to bump your expertise up and that's why i said 500 to 600 can actually take just a week if you're taking advantage of every single gypsum orb way of getting those gypsum orbs and then also doing the world tours or the trains you're going to be able to bump it up very very quickly and another thing to kind of note as well is there are infused orb types so the amount needed of infused orbs i will have listed on the screen and the cost of each but you can actually go over here to the cast and you can see that there is something called infused orbs you can cast these and it just works the same as any kind of gypsum orb you just craft the gypsum orb and then it looks like this one right here and you'll be able to go in and uh, bump your expertise up for free so it's just a really really cool system that they added i'm very happy about it i hope a lot of people like you guys are going to benefit from it let's say you guys have you know 30 minutes to do as much as you possibly can in 30 minutes you can actually get probably four gypsum orbs at the very least per day so first i do the hidden stashes right you cut some trees down that probably takes two three minutes to be honest and then let's say we do the arenas two or 3v3 arenas takes not long at all if you win both you're good to go but if you have to do three or four arenas still not very long and then you can even sneak in faction missions or if you have saved up tokens you'll just buy your two gypsum orbs a day so those are really really quick ways to quickly get that gypsum orb every single day and level up your expertise but those are just Really, like I said, quick tips and tricks on getting 500 to 600 within one week. Thank you guys again for tuning in. Make sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and turn notifications on. I'll see you guys all in the next one.